Hey, what's up guys? Obviously it's Captain Obvious, and I got a game of Team Deathmatch on the map Mission. What an original name. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 for you. This video is going to serve as my first impressions, initial impressions, whatever you want to call it video about the game. Uh, I have been watching many other commentators, listening to their opinions and stuff, and most of the stuff I agree with, some of the stuff I don't agree with. I have also gotten some ideas about things that support things that I've been thinking about about the game as I've played it for the past day or two. Now, the game is good. Uh, it's not great, it's not very good, it's good. There are many reasons for the why it's good, uh... Well, mainly because of the multiplayer. I mean, I'm not playing campaign yet. I'm probably not going to play campaign. I'm not a campaign person. I'll probably do it as a pastime. But right now, I'm mainly con uh, concerned with multiplayer, about how it's running, how everything's working. So I, I guess I can give it a ugh, B minus, a 7 out of 10. That's an average rating for multiplayer is what I'm going to give it. Now, I have many, many, many reasons for why I'm giving it such a rating. And the first one is pretty much uh, the way that they really hyped it up. And the, uh, the, uh, what's the word? Um, unremarkable experience. I mean, they're talking about how it's mainly going to be focused on gun-on-gun play. Uh, how it's not, you're not focusing on your kill streaks to get all your kills. That's ridiculous. Call of Duty is never, ever going to be like that unless you take out kill streaks. And you know how they said that damage is, that gun damage has been increased? No, it hasn't. Uh, I was watching, uh, you know, Xbox Ahoy, and he said that the M4 carbine is a three hit kill to the body, two hit kill to the head. Exactly what it was in Modern Warfare 2. They didn't adjust the weapon damage at all. The re I don't I don't know why they would say that it's gonna be more fast paced weapon damage is higher when I'm still killing people in three in three or two hits it's it's absolutely ridiculous I don't know how they can claim that your weapon damage is better when I'm still killing people in the same amount of time I did back in Modern Warfare 2 without stopping power on with like cold blooded or something it's ridiculous that they made this promise and the weapon damage has not been increased. Maybe it's been increased by 10 points, but it's not decreasing the amount of bullets it takes to kill someone. It's still taking 3 to 4 hits to get a kill. Uh, that really disappointed me. I thought it would be great. I mean, high power weapons, you know, burst fire weapons would be beast. Uh, automatic weapons would be balanced. Uh, but there's just so many guns in this game. And the fluctuation between their damage, their uh, damage output... Their range, uh, the fire rate, it's too too separate and too unbalanced from the rest of the weapons in the game. And I've tried out the M16, it's not great. Uh, I, I'm still getting three burst kills with it. It's not that, uh, the fire rate, the, the, the delay between firing your first shot and your second shot is way, way too long. It's, it's ridiculous. And then... You have the Type 95, the newly added, uh, what's it called, uh, three burst gun. This thing is a boss. I haven't unlocked it yet, but I've picked it up, and this thing is way overpowered. It's not even funny. I'm getting literally ugh, 10 kill streaks with this thing in ugh, a minute, two minutes. This thing is ridiculous, this Type 95. The fire rate is ridiculous. It has a less delay between shots than the M16. Uh, the, the, the fire rate when you fire the three shot burst is, is shorter. It's absolutely ridiculous how overpowered this gun is. Silencer's not affecting that at all. Still a three burst kill. Uh, the, like usual weapon statistics on the page are different. And just overall the game is not as good as it's been hyped up to be. I've also, throughout my, my, you know, studying of the, people things that people have been saying about the game you know playing it and my experiences i'm come up with exploits already that are in this game an example is that is probably is the uh exploitation of uh the perk of the strike package sorry specialist 
in case you didn't know, Specialist allows you to get all 15 perks in the game after getting an 8 kill streak. And up to that, at 2, 4, and 6 kill streaks, you get a perk that you assign to that location. Now, this perk can be anything, any perk that you have unlocked. And it depends upon which slot you put it in, depends upon how strong the perk is. Now, we have two kills. You can use Hardline to drop that down to one kill. Now, these are not going to be, uh, you know, good, uh, you know, uh, perks. You're going to have Sleight of Hand. You'll have, uh, I think, maybe Stalkers on there. Uh, Blast Shield, maybe. I'm not certain. I haven't unlocked Specialist yet. But those are the perks that are in the uh, the first category. And then you get to the second. And this is where Assassin is. Now, what you're going to want to do, this is the exploit I'm talking about. You want to put Blind Eye in the first spot, okay? And then, in your second spot, put Hard Line. And then you'll, you only need three kills to get Assassin. Okay? And then you put Ninja Pro, or whatever other stealth perk you want in the third slot. And now... Here you go. You have your perfect stealth class after three kills, and you have you no. Know, you don't even have to take up a spot using assassin, and you get your kill streaks earlier, and all this crap. It's ridiculous how what I and what I believe they've not thought this through. You could put a silencer on your gun, silencer on everything. You can stay hidden for those first three kills before anybody else gets a UAV or anything that's going to be able to find you when you're not using Assassin, and you have Assassin for the rest of the game. Okay? If you stay alive, and if you play the game right. That is ridiculous. Okay? And then after you get to your, your 15 kills, or your 8 kills, you have all 15 perks. You don't have to worry about that. But at 3 kills, you have Assassin. Before anybody else in the game has a UAV. Completely unthought out on Infinity Wars part. It's an awful exploit. And I feel that there's going to be other perk combinations using specialists that's going to make for over, over powered uh, strike packages. Oh, wow. I have a lot of complaints. But the, the, the biggest, and one of the biggest, I should say, is kill streaks. Kill streaks stack now. And in case you don't know what stacking is, it's where if your kill streak gets a kill, it's a kill streak. So that's a kill toward your point streak. And in this game, it's a lot easier to get your kill streaks. Because of the point factor in it. Capturing a point. A domination point. Planting a bomb. Anything will get you a point towards that streak. It's making it even easier to get your kill streaks rocking and stuff. But wait. Kill streak whoring is back. Remember that back in uh, you know, Modern Warfare 2 days when you couldn't get in the game without having a Harrier up in the sky or chopper gun up in the sky or anything? It's back. Every game I've played so far. Where there's been higher level people with those kill streaks unlocked, there have been kill streaks constantly in the air. Be it a strafing run, advanced UAV, anything, there are kill streaks always up in the sky. And don't get me wrong, I respect those people for using advanced UAV. It is a great, great kill streak. But I hate how they have the kill streak stack. I don't know why they did it. That was the bane. Of Modern Warfare 2, one of them at least, besides one man armor nuke tips. But that's what made that's what made it awful. Kill streak stacking is what the whoring that's why it happened. Because you could get your Predator missile, then you can get your Harrier, or you can get your Reaper drone in this, and you can build keep building up on your point streak. I I I really hope they change this, because it is a game breaker. That's why so many people left Modern Warfare 2, because of the kill streak whoring. It was ridiculous. And now it's back. And even though people are still low levels, and you don't know what to expect of them, you are still, you're going to see all this stuff come to light as the game's life cycle goes on. Uh, I can assure you, 100%, that there will be constant kill streaks in the sky. I have no doubt you will have maybe a multiple AC 130s in a game. You'll have all this stuff just overtaking the maps. And now, maps, that's a great segue. Maps suck. 
And I'm not being a pessimistic person. I've I was always a fan of Call of Duty, but I have never ever seen a game where maps were this bad. I know people are saying the maps are great. There's no camping spots, but there are. I was playing on a map where there's a down helicopter in the middle. I'm sorry, I can't remember the map, the name, but there were buildings surrounding it, and you could see everywhere in the middle, down all the streets. You could see everything from these locations. This map. You can see out that window, and you can see into the enemy spawn. You can get on top of the uh, that little radar thingamajiggy, and you can see everything. There are camping spots. There's never going to be a game without camping spots. And Infinity Ward can't claim that there's not going to be camping spots or, you know, less camping spots. Less places for you to, you know, hold down a place. And they can't claim that and then have it in the game. You're never going to have a game without camping spots. There's always going to be power locations. And every map so far, there's been a point... A location that I feel is purposely put into the map or something that wasn't intended for that use being used as a camping location and just, you know, getting all these kills just by sitting in one spot. It is ridiculous that these maps are so bad. <laughs> and the fact that they're smaller is that panic knifing is more of a prevalence now. That was awful in Modern Warfare 3. There's so many tight corners in this game that you'll always have panic knifers running around these corners and getting you from five feet away. But that's uh that's it for my complaints about this game. Uh, if you ever uh you know see me all playing online and stuff, my strategy is gonna be support. I mean I'm always running support. I'm always using those team kill streaks. I am a team player. In Black Ops, you know what the only kill streaks I ever ran were. Blackbird, counter UAV, UAV. I never ran a kill and kill streak. The only kills I have from kill and kill streaks are from the care packages you got in the beginning of the game. If you if you somehow found my combat record, I literally have fifty kills with the chopper gunner, and like forty with the gunship. It's ridiculous. That's all I use support. I want to get the team kills. I want to get the team back up and you know trying to do their best with knowing where the enemies are and stuff. I mean that's all I ever use. Sam Church is crap. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll, I'll be playing a lot of more Modern Warfare 3, uh, you know, get my impressions, you know, see, seeing how, if it's ever actually going to turn out well. So send me a message if you want to play with me. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.